become a pro in static equipment design, join our in-depth and professional training. To avail the biggest discounts and explore the various courses, click on the link shared in the description just below the video. Register and check out the different courses to become an expert in static equipment design. So let's have one example for the better understanding. So let's say we are having design pressure of 12.5 bar gauge, which is 1.25 MPa. Then design internal temperature is 150 degree point Celsius. Pipe size is NPS 10 inch, which is DN250. So it is less than 24 inch size. So we can use B16.5 as the reference standard. MOC is SA105, and we have to select the proper class of the plant. So let's say solution. First, the pipe size is DN250, NPS 10, which is less than 24 inches. So B16.5 is to be referred. MOC is SA105. Design pressure is 12.5 bar gauge. Temperature is 150 degree Celsius. So let's go into B16.5 2013 edition. We can see it is ASME B16.5 2013 edition. In that, we have to search for SA105. So let's say 105. Then we can see over here, table is 2-1.1 and the material group is 1.1. If you are using PV light and if you are going to select the standard flanges for the nozzle, you can see this material group is also mentioned over there. So our material is 105. Remember this is B16.5 and not SME section at division 1. So here SA will not be used. Here only A will be used as a suffix. So we can say a prefix. So A105 is the <coughs> MOC what we have to follow. <coughs> so you can see over here working pressure by classes. So here they have given the various pressure. Here there is a <coughs> class of the flange and here is the temperature so what is our requirement 12.5 bar what is the temperature 150 so under 150 we have to check first for 150 class if it is not sufficient then go for 300 class if it is not sufficient go for 400 similarly we have to go for so let's say our design temperature is 150 and our required pressure is 12.5 bar at 150 degree celsius 150 class flange can have a working pressure of 15.8 bar. Our requirement, uh, requirement is 12.5 bar, which is less than this. So we can easily select 150 class as our class. Let's say if our requirement would have been 20 bar. So 150 temperature, 150 class can sustain till only 15.8. So for 20 bar, we cannot use this class. So we have to move to the next and we can see it is can be used till 14.5, 20 is less than that. So we can select 300 class line. If our pressure would have been 100 bar, in that case, you can see over here, we have to go to 900 class as the flange. If the temperature is in between, we have to do the interpolation. You can see over here, as the temperature is going to get increased, the pressure rating is going to get decreased because its allowable stress is going to get reduced and hence its capacity to sustain that pressure is also going to get reduced. So at 150 degrees Celsius, 150 class plants can sustain till 15.8 bar as a pressure. But if it would have been 400 bar pressure, then it can sustain only 6.5 bar. So right now for this example, our, in our case, our requirement is 12.5 bar at 150 degrees Celsius. And 150 class can have 15.8 bar. So 150 class can be easily selected. So we can see over here, <coughs> We can simply see over here as per the table 2 1.1, which is for the group of material 1.1, which is to be used for SA, or we can say A105. Working pressure at 150 degrees Celsius is 15.8 bar, which is more than our design pressure 12.5 bar. 
our design pressure supposed to be inclusive of all the fatty head and whatever is coming on that flange so let's say after addition of all this uh, basic design pressure plus fatty head if that value is 12.5 bar and the pressure rating can sustain 150 class rating can sustain till 15.8 bar which is more than 12.5 so we can select that class so based upon this as the selection pressure is more than the required pressure hence 150 class flange is selected selected so this is how we have to select the flange i hope you have understood that how we have to select the flange so one more thing what i want to show you here is about the straight hub flanges long weld neck flange is also called as a straight hub flange it is also called as a straight hub flange it is not called as a weld neck uh, long weld neck flange in this case it will be called as a straight hub flange so if we can see straight hub welding flanges that is given in <coughs> page number 14 straight hub welding flanges Straight hub welding flanges have the hub's uniform thickness except as de uh, described in the para 2.8.2, 2.8.3, 2.8.4. In the straight hub welding flanges shall have the dimensions and the tolerance of the welding neck flanges of the same size and the classes as far as table 8, 11 and 16. So here it has been mentioned that whenever we will be using straight hub type of flanges, we have to make sure that its OD, the OD of the flange will be exactly similar to the outer end dimension of the straight hub or we can say the welding neck flange. So if we can see welding neck flange or we can say straight hub flange, here you can see this is a straight hub welding flange. Here we can see the dimension X and we have to read note number one. So if we go to the note number one, X, note number one, diameter of the hub, C para 2.8, C para 2.8. Usually, this dimension X is nothing but the weld neck flange dimension at the large end hub. So, if we cross check it with, with the 2.8, you will follow that this X dimension is nothing but for the standard weld neck flange, it is the dimension of the large end hub. So, let's say we are going to see the dimensions for the standard weld neck flange over here you can see for a weld neck flange this dimension is the extra dimension and that x dimension is nothing but the od for that standard flange so this is how the x dimension we have to follow so if you observe for two inch it is 78 if you uh, observe the dimension of this large end hub for the long weld neck or we can say straight hub flange it will be having a dimension of 78 if it is for 3 inches it is 108 this also depends on on the class of the flanges so here for 2 inch it is 78 for one and a half inch it is 65 for 3 inches it is 108 that will be the od of the pipe portion of that straight hub flange so this is just for your information so we have selected the correct class as per the material 105 as per the temperature and as per the required pressure so we have seen here 150 class standard flange is sufficient for 150 degree celsius and 12.5 bar gauge as a pressure